You know, people go, OG Black. Talk about Tijuana. OG Black, talk about Tijuana. This and that about Tijuana. You know, like I've told you before, your boy OG Black only likes to bring you guys the fire. Stories that are real, not that are fake. You know, um, there's a lot of fake news out there. A lot. You know, a lot of fake news. Hey, can you guys hear the crows? Tripping out, huh? The crows. We got a lot of crows over here where I'm at. Well, anyways, there's a lot of fake news out there. You know, and that's sad because there's a lot of people dying out there. Um, Tijuana is a hot war zone. Last night on my live feed, we talked about Tijuana. You know, I work there. Um, it's a scary place. You're surrounded by Marines, by La Estatal, by La Municipal, you know, by El, el Equipo Tactico de la Zona. You know, some areas are cool, like the Zona del Rio, that's a real nice area. Um, there's a couple places in Tijuana that are really nice, you know. But right now, you know, a lot of these guys say that the plazas are going to be all aligned and everything's going to work out. I'm just saying from the people of Tijuana and the information that your boy OG Black is getting, there ain't no realignment. You know, um, people from Nariano Felix, they really ain't happy. The Sinaloa kids, they want to work. They want to see what's, what's they want to make that money. They want to cross that dope across the border. And the guys from Tijuana want to do it too, but they want taxes. And it ain't look like it's going to work out that way either. There's three wars going on. It's uh, the Cartera Ariano Felix versus Jalisco Nueva Generacion, which is all gone. It's just some cells left there doing their uh, their fraud. They do a lot of fraud. People don't know that that um, that Jalisco kids do a lot of fraud. So a lot of their money is through uh, through uh, credit cards and stuff like that. You know they scam credit cards and gas pumps and you know they they have their 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 technology your boy og black is one thing he's not very he's not very tech savvy you know he'll tell you that much he's not very tech savvy um so a lot of these cartels are gonna have a major problem and i'm gonna tell you why tijuana has a lot of ex-southern gang members in tijuana a lot of them were deported about 10 years ago. They've been living in TJ for a long time and they're hungry. And like Shadow says, there's a lot of hungry people who need money and they're gonna be looking for work. Now, whatever team that you are on right now, it's gonna be pretty tricky. Because you got the estatales and the municipales together. And then you got the marinos who are always uncorruptible. You'll get one or two out of about a thousand, you know? But you get a lot of corruption from the local police. The Ariano Felix kids all know each other. The kids in Tijuana right there all talk. They all go to the same palenques. They go to the same discotecas. You know, they go to the same places, to the parties. You know, um, they listen to the same music. You know, and they talk. You know, your boy OG Black hasn't been in Tijuana in a while. We're going to start off a, a very big, 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 big charity soon. It should be done by November. I'm keeping it small. Like, it's got a lot of people who want to help, but I'm keeping it small, guys. You know, your boy OG Black doesn't like reporting on Tijuana because the fact is it's sad, brothers. I like to report on positive things and happy things, but sometimes... As a journalist, and I see this, this news, it's just all that it is, is it's unhappiness. And it's sad, it's getting to that point. But uh, people are always asking about Tijuana, and that's the truth about Tijuana. If you want to be specific and want me to give you specifics, like locations and stuff like that, good luck, guys. I can't do that all the time. The Cabo 33 story, you know, I, had, I gave it to you guys. He was a Chapolin, you know? Um, the Toker story, I told you what's up. I took it off of there. Those who know, those who know. Those who don't know, don't know. You know, I'm not scared of anybody. I was never threatened, you know. I know a lot of people in Tijuana. I know a lot of people in Laredo. I know a lot of people in Michoacan, you know. And they say what I'm doing is good. And that's, that's, that's what matters. As long as my news is accurate, 
and it's coming from a straight a straight street for a uh, straight street source that I know that I spent time with that I vouched if you guys ever check OG black only vouches for one guy shadow baby shadow baby since the beginning OG black and shadow like this again like the mamba kings <laughs> All right, so you guys want to know a little bit about Tijuana? If you want to get on my thing, leave comments, subscribe, like. Like I told you, share. Hit that button, guys, that notification button. That way you guys are always notified, man. You know? But just remember this, guys. Your old boy OG Black, he's going to be bringing it for you guys tonight. All right? So get your uh, pencils ready because it's on and cracking. You guys have a good day.